Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Sada Magis and Sarula, Nigeria, the acting missionary in charge, and all the Naibins present, our distinguished elders on this side of the hall, and our distinguished elders and members of Majis and Sarula on this other side of the hall, we want to thank Allah for taking us this far. And um, we cannot thank him enough since over the last three days that we've been here, uh, we have devoted ourselves to his worship and he has um, protected us and guided us all through the various programs. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, by way of closing remarks, I just want you to take away two, three core lessons that we have had in the last two, three days. Because without these lessons, our coming here will be worthless. We need to make our attendance worth the while by adopting, internalizing, and practicing all those things that we have had right from Friday, starting from the Huzur's Friday Kutbah, which was the thing that kicked off this um, Ishima. And we all know that Huzur's Kutbah was on one basic uh, topic, and that is the responsibilities of leaders at various strata of the Jamaat. So all of us who are office bearers, first of course all of us who elected them, I mean elected them there, we know what our responsibilities are. But more than anything else, all the office bearers at all the various levels, they have heard directly from the Uzur. And so we cannot remind ourselves enough about this. In fact, the circular has been sent round to all of us to remind ourselves constantly about what Uzur said we should do as our duties, how do we, we should fulfill those responsibilities. The second lesson is that in order to build a peaceful and progressive nation, all of us as individuals must uphold justice and equity within our family, at our community levels, at the society levels. That's the major theme of this Ishtima. So it's not just that we have seen it, we have had it. We must go back and practice upholding justice and equity. And it starts from our home, with our wives, with our children, with our Jamaat members, with the leaders in the Jamaat, with uh, ordinary members of the Jamaat. We all must uphold justice and equity. Now, in order for us to find solutions to all the existential challenges that confront the world. Those of us who are followers of the reformer of the age must become role models to the rest of the world. We must become role models. We already heard about the two personalities that were presented today. Wherever they were working, everybody knew them as Ahmadis. They are role models. Uh, Sada told us of where they went, and they talked about the two Ahmadi that are among the staff. Those organizations said the only people they rely on when they have issues are these two Ahmadi brothers. That's how it should be for each and every one of us, wherever we find ourselves. 
we are ambassadors of the Huzur, the Khalifa of the time. It is a big responsibility on our shoulders. May Allah help us to discharge this responsibility. Now, the fourth one is the Minaret International University that we just had the Naiba Mir finance and admin talk to, us, talk to us about. We are the people called upon at this age to fight the cause of Islam. All of us, when we read the stories of the Sahaba during the time of the Holy Prophet we will be shaking our head. And we can't forget because in the last how many years, Huzur has made them the subject of his kutba. I don't know how many of us that Huzur will come now that there is a physical war to fight for us to go and carry guns and follow him to go and fight for Islam. How many of us will follow, follow him? How many? Really? All of us will start finding excuses. All of us will start finding excuses. Uh, my children are still young. Uh, I just married now, not quite. Uh, in fact, I have a very old, aged mother. All excuses. All these people who had all these excuses during that time. But once the Rasulullah called for sacrifice, that is it. They went. Now, I want us to take MIU as the jihad of this period. This particular jihad doesn't require you to, kill, to, to die in the course of it. We call ourselves, this is the jihad of the pen. And university is the highest citadel of learning. So you have been called upon to come and fight that cause of Islam. Just like Izuru used to tell us. If, or in fact, Imam Adi Alim Salam used to tell us, if those who are opponents of Islam carry gun to kill us now, then we'll be justified in also looking for gun to fight them. No, they don't carry gun, except in few countries of the world. What they do is to publish erroneous things about the personality of Rasulullah, about Imam Adi Alim Salam, and tell all lies about our beliefs. So the, need, the way to fight them also is through those same uh, avenues. And the best way is this university through which we will raise the next generation of scholars that will fight the cause of Islam. So let us all go back determined to fight the jihad of this period. Nobody can fight it better than us who are the followers of the reformer of the age. Those are the four things that I say we should go back home with as we leave today. So as we leave, we pray that Allah will bless this ishtima and make it bear fruit in all our lives. We pray that Allah will, uh, as we leave, grant us uh, journey masses to our various destinations. And let's take the advice that Sada has given us. It's better to get home safely than get home fast. We pray to Allah to spare our lives to witness many more ishtima, to spare our lives to witness the next ishtima, then the, next, the one next after that one, and the one next after that, that, that one, in good health. We pray Allah to make it easy for us. So please join me in closing prayer. Rabbana takabal mina ino kanta semi wa li wa tuwa ino ya mola ino kanta gafur rohim wa huwa ala kulli shihin qadir Amin
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ لا الہ لا الہ لا الہ لا الہ لا الہ الا اللہ محمد رسول اللہ